how is it possible to make an egg explode when in contact with fire, and what actually happens if you put a normal light bulb into a microwave. You can learn this and so much more right now. Have fun. Number five. First up, we're gonna get to the bottom of what might happen if you put a light bulb in a microwave. Many of you probably think that the bulb will simply burst, but that's actually not the case. First, pour water into a glass and set the bulb inside. Now, put both things together into the microwave and adjust it to 360 watts and then turn it on. Once you hear the noise of the microwave working, the bulb will soon begin to glow. Simply amazing, right? However, we don't recommend doing this experiment at home. Number four. For this experiment, you'll need one PVC pipe, a light plastic bag, and a towel. First, rub the towel onto the PVC pipe, and then take the plastic bag and rub it against your shirt. Now, let go of the bag just over the PVC pipe, and voila! The plastic bag will appear to magically float. Number three. Be careful because now things are gonna get hot. For this one, you're going to need a good base. For example, an aluminum tray and a small pot. Now, fill the pot with sand and pure alcohol. Then, in the middle of the sand, pour a mixture of 40 grams powdered sugar and 10 grams baking powder. The next step is an easy one, light. As you can see, it creates some small black spots that get bigger and bigger. Your powder mix has now become a snake made out of ashes. Just wait 20 minutes or so and you'll have a snake as big as this one. Number two. For this experiment, you'll need a plexiglass plate, four wooden blocks, a few styrofoam balls, aluminum foil, and one paper towel roll. First, wrap the styrofoam balls in aluminum foil. Then lay a piece of foil down on the table. So that the whole thing sits firmly, set the wooden blocks on each corner of the aluminum foil. Now comes the plexiglass plate. Now wipe it thoroughly with a paper towel and be prepared to see what happens next. And finally, number one. Now what we need is a blown out egg, a bottle, sodium hydroxide, aluminum foil, and some water. Mix some sodium hydroxide and water together into the bottle, and this is important that you must wear rubber gloves for this because the mixture can cause burns, and the resulting gas should not be inhaled. Now put a few aluminum scraps into the bottle. After a short time, hydrogen will leak out as a gas. Now set the empty eggshell onto the upper opening of the bottle so that the interior fills with gas. Now the egg has a good base, so you can ignite it from a safe distance with a long stick. Okay, well that's all we've got for you today. If you're still in school, why not ask your teacher if they'll be able to show you one of these experiments in class? Here, you can check out another exciting experiments video, so just click on it. That's it for today, and until next time, bye-bye!